Everybody's familiar with the vignette tool in either Adobe Lightroom or Adobe Camera Raw. And in this video, I'm actually gonna tell you why you should never use that tool again. So I wanna clarify one thing. I'm not saying never use a vignette because vignettes are incredibly important in every type of photography. I'm simply saying never use the vignette tool in either Adobe Lightroom or Adobe Camera Raw. And I'll kind of go over why right now. Now you have to really think about what the purpose of the vignette tool is and why people use vignettes in their image. And if you are unfamiliar with what a vignette is, um, it's kind of the darkening of the image coming from the corners. And it's just basically a lens artifact um, created from less light reaching the corners of the image. And for some people, they wanna correct it and they actually don't want it in their image at all. Um, and some people wanna add it in. I personally like it in, um, but on my own terms. So that's why I'm gonna go over why I'm saying don't use the vignette tool. So like I was saying, you have to think about why you would want a vignette in your image. And what the vignette does is it kind of draws the viewer's eye into whatever you're trying to focus on. Now, if you use the vignette tool in Adobe Lightroom or Adobe Camera Raw, the only function it can have is to basically center in on the middle of the image. And I would say 99% of the time, the subject of your image isn't gonna be dead center. So um, I'm gonna show you one cool way, and it's very easy to kind of take the vignette into your own hands and be able to move it around wherever you want. Okay, so here we have an image I took of uh, my friend's car. And just to kind of show you that I do not have any sort of vignette on here, see no vignetting there, and also no post-crop post vignetting. Um, now I wanna kind of show you uh, how this image would not benefit from having a standard vignette here in Photoshop. And just to kind of illustrate my purpose a little bit better, I'm gonna take this all the way to the extreme and I'm also gonna bring the midpoint all the way in, feather it, so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about. So you can see here the car is kind of left justified in the screen on the left rule of thirds. Now, if I do any sort of uh, vignetting here, you'll notice, I mean, it's it's centering in on the center of the image. However, the most important part of the car, which I would um, argue is the front of the car here, it's not there in the center of the screen. So, you know, as you add a little bit of vignetting or try to add a little bit of mood to it, um, it's really just going to be um, centering in on the middle of the image, which isn't gonna be doing any any help for you at all. And even if you kind of, you know, adjust some of the stuff, maybe not make it as extreme, you know, it's still not really doing what I want it to do because it, you can still see here on the left side of the screen, it's still kind of darkening the front of the car and that's not what I want. And and the same is gonna go with, with this too. I mean, it's almost the same exact tool, so I wouldn't even worry about that. Okay, so my little quick tip here is the adjustment tools here at the top. Now, a lot of you are familiar with this. You've got the cropping tool, the spot removal, red eye, gradient, radial, and the adjustment brush. Now, these three right here are essentially the same exact tool um, with just a slightly with just a slightly different function. Um, the gradient tool, you know, obviously it affects things in a gradient manner. You can see there, you know, it's uh, just going from one side to the other. And then the radial tool, which does it in a circle, and then the adjustment brush where you can kind of brush it in wherever you'd like. Um, now, the one that I'm gonna be focusing on now is the radial tool. Now, there's two ways to use this radial tool, and um, one is where you can actually affect whatever is in the center of this uh, circle you create, or you can affect it on the outside. Now, the outside one is the one that um, I'm going to be focusing on because 
Um, maybe you already are knowing where I'm going with this, but um, you can actually kind of create a movable vignette that you can put at any point in the image. So for illustration purposes here, I'm going to center it right there on the Scion logo for his car, and I'm gonna drag it out to the furthest part of the image. And you can see I did it backwards. So all you have to do is go down here and press invert mask. And what that's gonna do is actually, right now it's affecting the inside of this circle. And when I press it, it's just gonna go to the outside. So, you know, you can see as I move it, you can kind of see the adjustments that it's making there. And I'm gonna go back up here just so you can kind of see what it's doing exactly. Now, there's a second adjustment that you can do for the um, actual shape here, and it's feather. So, you know, everybody's familiar with feathering. You see it there, it's just kind of only affecting the outside of the circle, nothing on the inside, and it's a very, very um, exact line there. So I'm gonna, you know, uh, do a little bit extra feathering. I, I really want it to be feathered. And then, you know, I can bring it in a little bit. Now, look how it's affecting as I drag it around the image. I, you know, if I, let's say the car wasn't there and I really wanted to emphasize um, this tunnel of trees here, I could just drag the center to the trees. Um, but, you know, like I said, I want to have it right there on the logo. Now, one of the benefits of using this radial tool versus the uh, standard vignette tool is you have all of the um, all of these, you know, uh, Lightroom or Photoshop functions um, at your disposal for the outside of this image right here. So, you know, not only can you, you know, darken or lighten the image on the outside, but you can adjust the contrast, you know, make it less contrasty or even, um, you know, like bring the saturation down a little bit so it kind of adds even more to um, you know drawing the viewers eye into the center there because that is honestly the point of having the vignette so hopefully you guys enjoyed this little tip I haven't seen a lot of people talk about this so hopefully you'll be able to use it in your portraits cars landscapes whatever you're taking photos of um, because it's really helped me kind of get a little bit more out of my images to help draw the viewer's eye into whatever I'm trying to show. So if you guys like this video, leave me a thumbs up and also leave me a comment. I'm always looking for new content. I'm trying to come out with videos every week. So if you subscribe, I'll have a new video, maybe once a week, maybe twice a week. Every once in a while, I might skip one because uh, I'm out of town, but uh, I'm usually trying to keep it very regular. So. Uh, once again, thank you guys for watching the whole video, and I will see you on the next one.